Optimization is critical. We all want to be on page one, want to be number one. Everybody promises you that. The websites that we, we build for clients are on a platform called WordPress. WordPress is one of the top um, search engine friendly content management platforms. If you do a little bit of research, you'll see there's just tons of good things about it. It's open source. What that means is there's developers all around the world improving it every day, providing new widgets and plugins and updates and things like that. All right. So I don't have to be a develop software development company building a platform. That's out there. There's all the resources out there. Also, the good news about it is because it's so popular, if you work with my company and you decide you want to work with someone else, you think these guys can do a better job, well, you can take your site with you. Okay. I don't own it. It's open source technology. And the good news is the other guy probably knows how to work with it too because it, tons of developers all over the world uh, work with it. So those kinds of platforms, there's also uh, Joomla, there's Drupal, there's a couple out there. Um, I, don't, I don't know why anybody would not work on an open source content management platform to start with anymore. The last thing you want to do is work with a company that's proprietary software. All right. My experience is whatever's proprietary, all it means is you're going to get screwed. <laughs> you're going to pay more money for everything and you can't take it with you. Some of the keys to search engine optimization. To optimize your site, you have to have the right structure. You've got to have relevant content. Okay, without content, it doesn't matter what the tool is. It's not like you know, if you own a Maserati or Lamborghini, it's going to be fast. It needs something. It still needs something. It still needs an engine. Okay, The body alone isn't going to do it. Meta tags. This is critical. Every page, okay, every page on your website should have meta tags. Meta tags are descriptive terms, keywords that describe what's on that page. If you notice on some of the highlighted listings, I think like Video Production Charlotte, you see my, my main web page, but then you saw a second listing, and the title tag was about video production. Because that page is, is even more relevant than my way, main page. But both, both pages show up in the search. And we'll see somewhere we get even more than that. Every niche of your service that you, you have in our services, and you got 15 different things you do, and each one's a different page, each one should be optimized with specific meta tags for what's on that page. Google looks for relevant content. If it ain't relevant, it's not going to give you anything. For instance. This is somewhat of a change because I'm talking about free here, free uh, listings. If I want to do a paid AdWords campaign and I want to do it for golf tournaments in Denver, North Carolina, but my company's about video production and I paid to do an ad and I want to pay two bucks, Google probably will deny it because there's nothing about golf tournaments on my video production page. It's not relevant. If I want to pay $20 a click, Google will let me do it. I can piss away my money. But there's a quality score. If, on the other hand, I have a golf tournament website, I'm doing a golf tournament keyword um, campaign, and I bid $2, I probably will pay less because the quality score is so good, I may only pay a dollar for that click through. So relevancy is critical to Google even when they're making money. And when it's free, it's extremely critical. If you're not relevant, it's not going to work. So your content has to match your, pay, your meta tags, and that's how they're gonna, you're going to get traffic there. Once everything's in place, you got to submit the site. If you sit back, all right, like I said, it takes six, eight months. When you look at a search, you see in the listings typically three things. The blue is the title tag. Okay. 
That's the overarching description of what's there or what you want them to search for. It can be both. Okay. Typically, that's where we'll dump a regional phrase in. All right, I want people finding me for Charlotte, North Carolina, as a marketing company. The next is the description. This goes back to the old as new. People dump keywords in there, and the description makes no sense, and then guess what? Nobody clicks on it. Even you could be number one. You look at you, what the heck is that? It's just a bunch of words. It needs to be ad copy. It needs to be storytelling. It's a really small little space in there, but you've got to tell something about your company that's going to make somebody want to click on it. And then the last, of course, is just the, the link to your website. But here, you know, I got strategic marketing company, Charlotte. My description, Charlotte, North Carolina, is full service, multimedia marketing company, develop organic site optimization strategies that raise your website's visibility. All right, so I want something in there that's going to make you excited that wants, makes you want to click on this thing. In this particular example, this client of mine is, is doing really well. He does hair transplants in Austin, Texas. He has an ad at the top, and then we have two other listings. This is Hair Transplant Austin, Texas. One is a good descriptive one. The other one is this YouTube video. Google shows YouTube videos in organic searches if they're optimized. So even if your website doesn't show up, your video might. And then if your video does, you want to make sure that there's enough descriptive text in here to be found. And ideally, in the description, when I go to the YouTube video, there should be a link back to my website. And people leave that out all the time when they post a video on YouTube. The best is you put it right in the very front of the description. So what our goal is, is to dominate the page. This is a guy out in uh, um, Tacoma, Washington. He also does hair restoration. You don't go any better than this. This is Hair Transplant Tacoma. It's a six one. Number five is a directory that when you click on it, he'll come up number one anyway. Right, so he just slams it. This is a search for massage. Massage Envy's corporate website has done a real good job in optimizing them and dominating the marketplace. Even the term Massage Envy is one of the biggest search terms nationwide, right up there with massage therapy. It's amazing. And as a result, when you do a search for massage, oftentimes they'll dominate it. Google saw that I was in the Charlotte region by my IP address. So as I typed in massage, all it brought up with massage envy locations. Now, there's tons of them. And depending on the search, they may not show, all right, if I do a specific regional search. But for the broad word massage, Google was already sending me to massage envy because they dominate the, the search engines when it comes to the way they've optimized their site. And every listing on this page, including the paid advertising, is uh, massage envy. You see off to the right, even though we have all this Massage Envy uh, information, to the right is an ad. All right, that's pay-per-click. Not only can you track it within your uh, Google AdWords account or whichever, there's other services. There's Yolo, there's Reach Local. There's lots of different services out there, and they can get deeper into it. They can do call tracking as well. They can record the phone calls coming through. There's lots of ways of of tracking data, but this data does show on your typical Google Analytics search number three there is Google CPC.